welcome to the month of May and to our webinar. I'm Beatrice Lam, the Field Marketing Manager of Barracuda MSP APEC. I'm based in Melbourne. I'm very excited to introduce you to Matt Caffrey, who is also on the call. He's our sales engineer, and he'll be showing you the presentation today. This webinar should take around 30 minutes. If you have any questions, please use the Q&A panel and we'll go through them at the very end. There will be a survey at the end of the webinar. We would really appreciate if you can spare a minute or two to complete the survey. On that note, Matt, over to you. Thank you, Beatrice. And thank you everyone for joining. So what's in store for the next 30 minutes? We're going to uh, go through how a continuous cloud-based protection uh, for email-borne threats uh, can help uh, provide uh, mitigation to challenges that SMBs and MSPs experience every day. We'll go over real-time artificial intelligence and domain fraud visibility. Uh, and then we're going to go into safeguarding uh, customers uh, with an interactive uh, phishing simulation and security awareness. And then finally, we'll talk about our rebrandable assets to help uh, provide that story to your customers across those three. So most attacks start with email. Around 74% of attacks came in via email using either phishing scams or ransomware. There's not just an initial monetary value, it obviously reduces productivity it increases downtime, and it can also harm your brand's reputation. You just got to ask yourself, would customers want to uh, transact with you if you've been breached and possibly their information had been breached as a result? The impacts are significantly uh, significant and far-reaching for many businesses. Loss of productivity, as I'd mentioned, loss of data, and there's also those intangible costs, such as reputation, customer trust. If we go from top to bottom there, you can see that ransomware in 2019 cost businesses a lot of money around the globe. And of 43% fell victim to phishing attacks. Now the more targeted attacks uh, using a business email compromise, one in seven experienced an account takeover or a business email compromise. Small businesses were as much a target as the enterprise. Scam reports suggests that businesses were mostly from the small, which is a five to 19 staff, or a micro from a one to four staff business. This is reflected upon um, in the ACCC scam watch report. And so far in 2021, the average reported losses for Australian businesses due to business email compromise scams are more than five times higher compared to the average losses of the same period last year. Based on research, we've defined 13 known threat type categories. We do have more information available on that. Trending, trending from less complex on the left to more complex on the right, attacks using multiple techniques together can result in maybe an email coming through as an attachment that is linked to a user, to a phishing site, to get credentials from that user. This could also then lead into a business email compromise and a lateral phishing attempt across the organization. As a result, defenses need to be more robust. 
In fact, we've bought, built our portfolio to support that layered approach to security. Starting with gateway defense at the bottom to mitigate spam, viruses and phishing. Then onto the resiliency layer using um, uh, malicious or uh, uh, reducing and mitigating malicious or incidental deletion of data. And then also a continuity service if that mail service goes offline. Email security beyond the traditional gateway to safeguard your employees in sense, uh, the API based spear phishing inbox level defense. An AI enabled solution to protect against sophisticated, socially engineered target attacks like business email compromise and account takeover, comprehensive, easy to use protection against the most advanced threats in an email setting. And then finally, training to make your users a strength, not a weakness. As you can see here, Barracuda Essentials provides gateway defense and resiliency. Barracuda Sentinel stops brand hijacking and catches social engineering attacks using artificial intelligence. Barracuda Managed Fish Line provides the last line of defense, training your employees to spot and thought phishing attacks on unsecured personal accounts. And Barracuda Forensics and Incident Response enables your IT team to identify, track and resolve email attacks from outside of your and inside of your organization. For example, a phishing attack or a ransomware attack. The approach is totally modular letting you layer in a defense where you need a boost or all four for the ultimate in protection. Now protecting the lower complexity email threats seen there from spam to phishing. We have integrated ATP that combines behavioral, heuristic and sandboxing techniques to protect against zero hour threats. We've got our enterprise grade threat intelligence network with over 200,000 global customers. Barracuda sees, detects and blocks zero hour and unknown threats before an attack can take place, shared across our product suite. Real-time scans automatically scan email attachments in real time. Suspicious attachments are detonated in a sandbox environment to observe that behavior. Results are integrated with Barracuda real-time system sharing the detect, detection of a threat to all customers using our email security network security and web security products. We have a comprehensive log of all the details that you require on an allowed blocked or quarantined mail message. We also give you the ability to have advanced administrative controls so you can limit a service and configure that service. advanced inbound and outbound mail policies to allow for granular configuration of sender authentication policies such as SPF, DKIM, DMARC, and many other filters that allow you to contr have control over messages, whether they're deleted or um, delivered or, or blocked. Easy to use uh, and configured, uh, automated, uh, also manual and 
the ability to bulk CSV for users. And those users can be imported via LDAP or Azure AD. We have an integrated audit log, so you know what your technicians have done and also your end users in terms of releasing mail messages. We also have data centers in the US, Canada, UK, Germany, and Australia to ensure that your customers will be able to adhere with their local policies. Under Barracuda Essentials, we use a cloud service. That cloud service gives you the ability to protect your users' data. In terms of our resiliency product, we have Barracuda Cloud Archiving Service, which gives you increased governance, increase the usage and availability for end users, and it increases those uh, particular compliance needs to be able to be in line with your local government compliance and regulatory com compliance. Its main function is to archive for compliance and e-discovery. And what do we mean by compliance? It is simply a record of an email or a component of email with inside the archiver. Not only do we retain and preserve the customer's information, we make it searchable for auditors or for end users. When you're looking for that email from three years ago, we make it easy to find that needle in a haystack stack. What we're really saying is with all of this, we can help reduce the time spent by IT searching for relevant content to a case during a discovery, thereby ensuring that emails which your client may need for any reason at all are not lost and easily found. For example, let's say one of your customers is a law firm and they need to have all their documents readily accessible that date seven years back. With compliance, we're not only retaining that information, we are also ensuring that the information is preserved in its original state, meaning that no one has tampered with it or deleted it. With our last piece of Barracuda Essentials for MSPs, it is a safeguard for your Office 365 customers with an automated backup solution. That backup solution covers Exchange Online, OneDrive for Business, SharePoint, Groups and Teams. You can also go through and select what you wish to select for backup and allow restores to the original location or another location within that data source. This component of Essentials really gives control back to the MSP. Based on our research, we have defined 13 threat type categories, as I'd mentioned. Trending from less complex to more complex, we can see here that there's spear phishing all the way up to account takeover. Email is the number one threat vector, as I mentioned. We see that 93% of email breaches start with social engineering. Looking backwards, once again, we can remember a simpler time where we had 
to secure the gateway guarding our infrastructure. And it was effective. Hackers got better and we continued to innovate to stay secure until they realized they could bypass the gateway completely. But now you've got attacks coming in from every direction to the point where we're at home, checking our emails, half asleep, we're still and arguably more susceptible to social engineering attacks. Therefore, an account takeover can commence. API defenses are able to use historical data and internal data from the environment to understand a user's activity. It is no longer reliant on databases and definitions as it learns the history from that end user's sending and receiving habits, for example. By using machine learning algorithms to evaluate multiple threat factors and attributes to more readily determine threats and attacks. For example, what email address that user uses, where they sign in from, how they sign their emails, the types of requests that they make. These are all classifiers that draw a profile on an individual user. Therefore, if you were to use a traditional gateway, this could be hundreds of rules for thousands of individuals, and it's just not scalable. Now, email protection beyond the gateway. You can see here, we're able to use the AI-based uh, machine learning to avoid these tags that traditional gateways cannot from both internal and external sources. We can detect account takeover attempts and attacks launched from compromised accounts and therefore remediate that account in real time before they cause damage. DMARC is a very important standard to protect your reputation so you can stop domain fraud and then gain visibility into how your emails are used with DMARC reporting. Barracuda Sentinel helps mitigate against conversation hijacking by registering domains to an individual. In the case of wiring a bank transfer, there might be a double S in a domain, which is not seen by an end user, but as the artificial intelligence and machine learning learns the sending and receiving habits of an individual, it's able to stop that conversation hijack. We also have different types of employee impersonation. You would have seen them, gift card scams, CEO impersonations or yeah, C-level impersonations, and also direct deposit fraud in conversation hijacking. We also have service impersonation like 365 asking for credentials. We're able to analyze those emails and see if that link that they're using is common to Microsoft, for instance. We can also see that there are blackmail type uh, attacks where they're asking for cryptocurrencies um, so uh, particular files of people aren't sent. And there would be uh, things such as uh, emails from other uh, states purporting to be certain types of people in those scams. Finally, we have a free DMARC reporting tool to prevent brand impersonation by showing you those services that are using your domain. Now, some of you on the call might already know about email threat scan, but this is a free tool 
Our email threat scan uses that same technology as Sentinel to connect to your 365 tenant or your customer's tenants to do a retrospective scan on that tenant. It will then scan for these types of phishing um, and blackmail type uh, attacks and then give you a report of those things that have missed the gateway. It's shareable to your customers, either via PDF or shareable link, and you're able to go over those results with your customers, protecting not against the, the front, but the rear of those 13 threats. The email threat scan, as you can see here, some stats. We've scanned over 2.6 million mailboxes. And a scary figure there is 98% of those accounts have a threat with inside. And then on average, each customer that is scanned, their tenant had produced over 500 threats with inside that particular organization. So run your free scan there at that link, which is barracudamsp.com forward slash free scan today. Combining both an email gateway and an inbox focused defense will look like this. We can help you here by leveraging email security in ESS and Sentinel for that mailbox defense. So we can keep your customers protected from the 13 main email threat types as it is all about layering. Now onto Barracuda Managed Fish Line. Managed Fish Line is an email security awareness training service. And we deliver it to MSPs as a managed service. Without having to add resources, we just ask you to supply a list of those people that you wish to target and we take care of all the heavy lifting for you. We produce a report at the very end to then help your customers meet the compliance requirements that they require for either local uh, or business requirements. And it also helps educate your customers on the latest phishing tactics that are employed out there. Our security awareness training and phishing simulations service helps you discover your customers' vulnerabilities. There's many regulations out there such as HIPAA, uh, FINRA, PCI DDS, DSS rather, and they require businesses to provide security awareness training to their employees. And this service will make it easy for you to help your customers meet those requirements. As we have robust reporting from various campaigns that can help identify the levels of risk with inside your customers' organizations. As I mentioned, the best part is we manage everything for you. We have um, and will be setting up uh, a send and send out those campaigns each month and send you regular reports so you can provide those to your customers. As I mentioned previously, all you have to provide is a list of those users you wish to target. Obviously, an effective program includes the following. Training, simulating that they can detect those, and then monitoring the ongoing behavior. Here are some of the themes where we can look at you know, security as a joint effort between your customers and um, the security team or the MSP. We can also look at you know, business email scams and phishing emails. There's also 
ransomware that's out there to pay those ransoms. And then finally, there's other things like Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn, which make a smokescreen for scammers to hide behind. We have a three month rolling email security awareness plan and that comes through as user awareness, user simulation in terms of phishing, and then incident response. Using Managed Fish Line, we pre-program monthly email simulation campaigns. We also have a dedicated MSP support, and it's part of the total email protection solution which is rebrandable in terms of its reporting. So just as a bit of a recap, we have Barracuda Essentials for the Gateway, Barracuda Sentinel for Mailbox Defense, Barracuda Managed Fish Line for Security Awareness, and then as a wrapper over the top, Barracuda Forensics and Incident Response to look at those particular incidents that are lurking with inside your Microsoft 365 tenant. So what's now? Feel free to schedule a, a call with a sales rep, um, run that email threat scan. It's a um, definitely a handy tool to bring these threats to your customers that are already there um, and our most successful MSPs leverage this scan. Register um, also uh, for our managed services webinar coming up. Uh, and, and to learn more about that, go to barracudamsp.com forward slash events. We've also got some rebrandable PDFs. So if you'd like to grab a copy of these, please let Beatrice know and she'll send them out to you. Thank you. And any questions? Great. Thank you, Matt, for showing us the Barcoda email security solution. Now, let's take a look at the questions from our audience. So if you do have a question, please pop them into the Q&A panel and we will go through them now. Matt, are you ready? Yeah. Great. Let me just expand the screen here. So the first question is from Nathan. Is cloud hybrid part of essentials? Sorry, is cloud, can you say that again, please? Is cloud archiving part of Barracuda oh, essentials? I yep. see, yeah, so that's all right. Um, yeah, so um, you can buy cloud archiving separate to uh, Barracuda Essentials email security. Um, so buy it as, as a one, um, standalone, or you can buy it as a total uh, email protection stack um, that would include cloud archiving, backup, email security, Sentinel, and also forensics and incident response. Yep, awesome. Thank you. And next question is from Caleb. Where is your data center? I think you might have mentioned that already. Yeah. Yeah, so we have data centers in Australia. Um, it depends on the service uh, for um, which um, cloud provider that's going to be in. It's either going to be in AWS or in Azure. Awesome, thank you. And we've got a question from Joshua. Do you offer NFL for the Sentinel product? Yes, we do. Yeah, so with all our products, um, we offer a non-free sale um, trial for you. Um, if you choose to pick that up, um, then we can um, honor that uh, moving forward. Um, as long as you're a partner of Barracuda. Of the, yeah, and do you want to explain our onboarding process? Because I believe you offer like two session of training session. Is that right? When they set up in their file? Yeah, so yeah, we would set up a, um, a, a, a demo take you through the product. If it meets your requirements, um, then we'll move on to um, a training session um, for each of those products and we can take you through. Um, and there's comprehensive guides as well um, that take you from start to finish on uh, setting up each of those services with Barracuda MSP. Great, thank you, Matt. And Connor is asking, can you show the ETS link 
Um, let me just pull up the deck. And he's also asking, is there a limit of times to use the scan? It's unlimited, yeah. So it's just a matter of um, running the scan, it will complete. Um, and then you could run it again if you wish, uh, post your yeah, sort of like a month on, you could then export those results out to a customer via CSV um, on the, the month prior to now the current month um, to show them how many have slipped past um, in that time frame. Thank you. And um, yep, so the link is here. So feel free to take a screenshot or we'll include that link in the form of email. And next question from Gavin, I like the marketing PDF. Can you send them across? Yeah, sure, Gavin. Um, I'll send you the PDF after the webinar. So if any of you wants to grab the marketing rebrandable PDF, as Matt has mentioned before, just let me know and I'll send them to you, to your email. So I believe that was the last um, let me just double check. And we've got another question from Cameron. Hi, Matt and Beatrice, thanks for the presentation. How long does a typical setup take for Essential, Sentinel and the Fish Line solution? Yeah, um, so Essentials and Sentinel uh, would take around sort of 40 minutes together. Um, Sentinel is sort of around five minutes or so to set up. Um, whereas Essentials, we just need to modify a um, MX record. And then also if you want to set up outbound, um, there's an outbound smart host um, and SPF changes that we would need to change. Um, so that's sort of that in a nutshell. Uh, Fishline is a managed service. So you would supply those details to the managed Fishline team of you know, the uh, email uh, accounts that you want to target. And then that would then give you an onboarding process, which would um, be a you know, just a, an allow list on your firewalls and, and also your current email security vendor, um, if that is the case, uh, to then uh, I'll put those um, IP addresses and fully qualified domain names into the allow list there. Um, so that's in a, in a nutshell as well for Fishline. Awesome, thank you, Matt. Um, let me just double check. Yep, that was the last question. So thank you guys for all your questions. And as promised, we'll be sending you the Uber Eats voucher in the next 24 hours. So feel free to order some lunch on us tomorrow on the Friday. And just before we go, I'd like to show you some of our upcoming events in May. So we do have two global virtual events. The first one is actually next Tuesday, we've got our partner Summit. So, um, so the executive from Barracuda will be sharing our latest product innovation. So please note this event is only for our existing partners. And our next webinar will be on the 20th of May. And we'll be showing you how to expand your security service offerings to include zero trust network access, which is our latest product as well. And finally, end of May, we have the Global MSP Day. So for this event, you will hear from real world MSPs on the learning from 2020. And also you'll learn about the latest market trends in managed services. So we've got the registration links on the screen. I'm going to be sending you an email as well. So don't worry about writing this all down. And I guess that's it for today. We hope you learned something new and thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Thank you. See you. Thank you.